I don't know what to do with this question, but I'm going to answer it. See if you want to answer it, Mark. Uh, have you heard of Jeff Bezos' recent divorce? They announced it today. I don't know if you saw the newspapers. No. Divorce. Today, he's got $117 billion. Uh, his wife is now entitled, entitled to half his wealth, estimated at $65 billion. I don't think that's right. It's a little less than that, but, you know, that's not quibble. She's done nothing to deserve it, but I'm curious to know your thoughts. Well, we don't know what Jeff is like to live with, first of all. <laughs> I mean, but you go ahead, because I, I do have feelings about something like this. I do, too. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know if we're going to agree, but who are you to say she's done nothing to deserve it? I mean, if I split with my wife today, she would get half. I've made all the money in our relationship in that sense, right? I've gone out and produced in that sense. But she deserved every damn cent she got, you know, for making my life what it is, for being with me, for, um, for helping me, for, the, for being on the journey with me, for loving me, for everything. And the idea that, that you can enter into a relationship with the outside and say she doesn't deserve it or does deserve it or whatever, uh, given, the, given the press release that came out today, it, it certainly sounds like she deserves it. And uh, I think most, most wives, in a, in, a, in a loving, you know, most good women in a, in a loving relationship, Absolutely. Even if they didn't do the actual work, deserve it. I mean, yeah, if, uh, uh, it's a, a marriage is a partnership in a lot of ways. And, and you help one another up and lift one another up and support one another in, in ways that are intangible and, and definitely something you can't put a price tag on. That said, that said, I, I do think l the laws are around divorce and the divvying up property are very anachronistic. I, I don't think, I think they, I think they, they don't reflect changing times and the independence that women have now um, and the, uh, and the earning capacity that they have now. And um, even though we're still sort of progressing down that road, um, I, I, I personally think it's something that two people, it sh there shouldn't be hard uh, rules with respect to that. In the states, I think it should be between the the two individuals involved, and um, yeah. and and it should and it should be fair. I don't know. I don't know that it's fair. I know a lot of men have been taken to the cleaners by women, yeah. and uh, and unfortunately abused by a system, and and who are good parents who were deprived of of uh, visitation rights of their children, who were used as pawns, and and you know. It, uh, you know, there's, there's, there, there needs to be some reform with respect to that. But we don't know what Jeff was like to live with, so no, he could have been a bear. We don't, and we don't know what she's like, and we don't know anything about their relationship. So making assumptions about their lives would be wrong. Um, but it's, it, and I agree with you, and I think, I think the more we move away from marriage as something grounded in religion <clears throat> and something that the state authorizes, and the more we view it as a contract, as a, as a relationship, as um, the more I, I think we'll have contracts that have more, you know, the state shouldn't be dictating all these things in advance and so rigidly so that it, it should be a much more flexible system in which these things should be contracted. Yeah, and because, and because they sort of preemptively decide for people, um, it, it makes the idea of negotiating an agreement between the two of you and prenups so ugly and unromantic and, and it just sort of, it's a, it's a buzzkill on, on every level. But Let, let's get the state out of it. That would be a yeah, great Yeah, that's thing. why if you get the state out of it and you make it, marriage is a contractual relationship, then, then it's, it's just a contract. And, yeah. and you negotiate the best terms that you can. Um, peace.